Hi, welcome to Kids in the Kitchen. I'm Tash and today I'm working with... Mia. And today we're going to be making pizza, but it's going to be a bit different because the bases are going to be made from potatoes. This is after we've been to Warrigal to find out how potatoes are grown on the Jones's property. Now, making is probably a smart idea because a lot of people have gluten allergies and gluten is an ingredient found in bread. So that means they can't eat things like pizza dough. So that's why we're using potatoes or spunky spuds as our base for the pizza today. This is also a great way to get kids involved in the kitchen because it makes cooking just a little bit different and a little bit fun. So are we excited to get going? Yeah. Let's do this. So we're gonna start off with our potatoes and a bowl of water. And we need to wash our potatoes. So we wanna put one, two, three potatoes in there. You wanna let them sit and play in the water for a little bit. And do you want to grab that brush right there? There we go. And now we need to pull the potato out and then brush the potato. That's it, brush it nice and hard to try and get all the dirty stuff off. That's it, good job. You're doing so well at that. You're a potato cleaning expert. <laughs> so now we've got to cut our potatoes and we've got a safety guard on this knife just to make sure we don't cut our fingers off. So we want to take the safety guard off and we want to go to cut the potato and we want to make sure our fingers are well away from where the potato is being cut. And then we cut down like this and we want to try and make nice thin cuts. So like this and like this. Do you want to have a go Mia? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So have one hand on the knife, yep that's it, and one hand nice and far away from the potato knife, from where the knife is. That's it, watch out where your fingers are. Good job. So what we want is the big fat round stuff in the middle. So we don't really need the tips. So once you get to this sort of stuff, you can put it to the side and you can make mashed potato from that later on. So what's your favorite pizza topping? Salami. We don't have any salami today, but we've got some ham. So now we've got some potato circles or our pizza dough bases. We want to put them on a tray that's got some baking paper on it and then we want to put some olive oil on them. So now we want to brush them with olive oil. So we get a little bit of the tip in the olive oil, dip, 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 dip. And then we go and and You want to give that a shot? Yeah. There you go, so that's it. Well done, they look good. Okay, now we can put that to the side. And now we want to get some tomato paste. So we've got some tomato paste here and we want to put them on top of them all. So we go and we get a little bit, a little bit like the olive oil and we just put a little bit on top. Now you could choose to have as much or as little as you want. Some people like them really saucy and some people don't like them saucy at all. So I think we'll do a mixture of a few. How about I do the first row and then you can do the rest of them. Job. Yeah, get it all on the edges. Looking good. Do you like tomatoes and tomato sauce? Yeah. Now we want to try and cut up our pineapple. So same thing as the potato. We want to make sure we don't chop our fingers. We make sure we keep our fingers far away from where we're cutting. And we're going to cut straight down. And then we're going to cut the edges off because we don't want to eat the pineapple skin. Do you want to eat any pineapple skin? No. Nah. Don't think it would taste very good. No. Nah. We could put all that to the side. And now we can just chop this all up. So do you want to chop it up something like, go across like that for a while? Yeah. Okay, so give that a shot. There you go, that's it, straight down. Good job. That's it. And across. It looks that's it. Looking good, almost there. And now we can collect them and we can cut across the middle. So now we've got some pineapple. Okay, now we've cut a fair bit of ham already, but we're gonna cut some more, just to show you how to do it. Okay, so similar to what we did with the pineapple, we wanna go across that way. So do you wanna give that a shot? Do you wanna do a big cross across that way? Looks good. And another one across that way. Woohoo! Now we've got lots of little bits of ham. 
Now we're prepared to put everything on top of our pizza. So we'll start off with, thank you. We'll start off with the cheese and we'll put a little bit of cheese on them. So you want to grab a little bit of cheese and put a little bit of cheese on each of the bottom of them. So just it's a little bit of cheese at the bottom just to make it all stick together nice. They're like little wriggly worms on pizzas. Oh, do we really want to be eating pizzas with worms on them? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put some ham and pineapple on them. So you're going to grab a little bit of ham. That's it. What did you say your favourite pizza was? Um, margarita. Margarita. Okay. My favourite's vegetarian. So if you wanted to, you could, you could put other things on. You could put extra cheese or you could put no ham or no pineapple. It's really up to you. Of course, you can use canned pineapple as well. That's a bit easier than having to cut up a fresh pineapple. But remember that fresh is best. So that's why we're using fresh pineapple today. Ooh, okay, now we get to put a little bit more cheese on it and then we'll put them in the oven. Oh, look at them. Pull down the oven door and put them in there. We've preheated the oven to 200 degrees uh, fan frost. And we're going to put the timer on for five minutes and see how they look then. Hi guys. Hey Carity. Um, have you seen Cappy the Capsicum? He's a real spud. Cappy the Capsicum? A, a spud? Um, do you mean spunk? I, in terms of a spunk, because he looks good after his makeover? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I think he's in the garden somewhere maybe. Okay. Um, what are you guys cooking today? We're making potato pizzas. Oh, I actually have a joke about potatoes. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, sure. Um, why do potatoes make good detectives? I don't know. Why do potatoes make good detectives? Because they keep their eyes peeled. <laughs> that was good, Carity. Anyway, I'm going to go find Cappy in the garden. See you guys later. See ya. Oh, I think Rosemary and Basil were in the garden too. Oh well. So Mia, what sort of activities do you like to do to stay fit and healthy? Um, netball, rollerblading on the weekends and tumbling. That's so exciting. What's your favourite netball position? Mm, centre. You like centre? You like running a lot? Yeah. That's exciting. How long have you been tumbling for? Um, only two days. O only two days? You're still really new at it. That's yeah. cool. And you're liking it so far? Yeah, and I'm starting next term. That's exciting. You're happy? You're looking forward to it? Yeah. That would be good. I think our potato pizzas are ready. Do you reckon we should go check them out? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get these potatoes spuds out of the oven. Watch out while I pull the door down. And this will be really hot, so we've got to use our special little red mitts that match our aprons. It's a smart idea, kids, to get somebody to help you with this because you don't want to burn your hands and you don't want to drop all the yummy food you just made. So I think our potato pizzas are ready. So how about we pick some of them up and put them on plates to share with everybody. So we'll get this one and put a plate over here. Ooh, looking good. Now let's taste them. So ready? Let's choose one. You can choose one and we'll take a bite. They're really cheesy and potato-y. What a surprise. <laughs> Do you think we did a good job? Yeah. I think we did a good job. Well, thank you for joining us on Kids in the Kitchen. For any more information about our web recipes, please head to our website. We'll see you later. Down at the market, my local farmer tells me how my food is grown and comes to me. Not far from the city, the farmer is my neighbor The freshest food is grown locally There's a party in the kitchen, something smells good I wonder who the chef could be It's the kids in the kitchen Romans, Jew, make and make Kids in the kitchen Drizzle, sizzle, roast and toast Kids in the kitchen Slice and dice, mix and fix Kids are in the kitchen Cooking something yummy